So today's interview is with Jason Roush. I feel angry that how much people suffer out there, how much you've suffered, and I'm angry for that suffering. I recognize that your circumstances have been deeper than mine. We've got something great to share with the world, Jason. We've got our experiences and we've got our history and we've got a way forward, and we're showing the world the way forward the way forward through abuse, the way forward through suffering. The whole reason that I'm doing this is for helping, helping others worldwide to, to speak and to have the platform. So if you're happy to share your experiences, then please do. Growing up, I had been, I had been abused, um, uh, physically as well as sexually. Uh, went on for a long period of time by uh, multiple individuals. When I was about 11 or 12 and I started um, saying, uh, telling someone about it, um, a lot of the reactions I got was, uh, you're making this up, you should try and get, in, get the individual in trouble or get attention or uh, that's normal, boys fool around with each other all the time and it was just very confusing and I didn't know what to make of it. I started to believe that it was normal. There's nothing wrong with it, especially when I heard other people comment about experiences they've had. So I started to believe that and then I started questioning my sexuality, wondering if I was gay or what was wrong with me. All the individuals who abused me were male. I I was just really scared and confused. I didn't know what to do. And it just led to other problems uh, and depression. At one point I got started contemplating suicide and attempted it and I, when I was 14 and I ended up spending a couple weeks in the hospital. Even then I wouldn't tell anybody what's really going on and uh, that the abuse is the biggest reason, I tell them other reasons, which were true, but I wouldn't mention the abuse or the fact that I thought that I was gay. And I just, I just realized that it's something I gotta deal with on my own, that nobody cares, and those who do care can't do anything about it, or choose not to. Why do you I think just, those people chose not to do anything about it? They didn't want to get involved, I and mean, they wanted to help, but they didn't know exactly what to do or how to help me. And so eventually I just figured out how to deal with it on my own, cope with it, and most of which wasn't the best decisions and choices I've made. I've been working to accept that what happened happened and to move on and realize that um, it wasn't my fault, that I'm, I'm not the one to blame for it. But then on the other hand, for the decisions I made after the fact to deal with it, take responsibility for that and be able to grow and move on with life. I'm very glad to say you didn't succeed at committing suicide. Yeah. I'm very pleased to see you sitting opposite <laughs> me. I'm like, yes! <laughs>